اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to write the discussion section using ChatGPT. So what are the ingredients of a discussion section? What do we write in the discussion section? The first thing that you need to do in a discussion section is summarize the main findings of your research. Now briefly identifying the rationale and behind and the study summarize the key results of your study. This will help to provide the context for the rest of the discussion. So you start by identifying what is the objective of your research. What's the rationale behind your research? Here is an example. And you can discuss the overall findings quickly as well. But if you do not do this, just identify the rationale behind your research. And then what you can do is discuss each hypothesis separately. As you're doing it, the first step is describe, compare and contrast your findings with those of previous studies. Now here, use ChatGPT or any other AI tool with caution. Although you can ask ChatGPT to compare the results of your study with those of previous studies, but you cannot trust the references provided by ChatGPT. And for that, you will have to go back to Google Scholar or any other database to search the relevant papers. So I would suggest you do this one on your own or you can use illicit or some other AI tools as well. The videos will be shared in the description as well. Now the next point is discuss your findings in light of the existing theory. Now here you can use chat GPT. Let's say, let me copy this text here for now and let's go to chat GPT. In my research, I found a significant impact of corporate social responsibility on organizational performance. And what do I want ChatGPT to do? Explain how these findings align with the theory that's it let's ask this and if we do not get our required answer obviously we'll ask for four more detail now it is giving me multiple theories that can help explain this relationship again let's see i know that it is based on resource based view this makes more sense so can you explain the findings in light of resource based view as to how and why the findings can be explained in light of RBV theory. Let's see what we get. So here is how social responsibility influences organizational performance and you get the reasons in light of RBV because CSR can offer unique resources. It can help you be build better reputation and image. It can give you better stakeholder relationships and all these are actually resources and that are uh, irreplaceable, non-substituable. And let me ask ChatGPT. there are no references in the text can you provide some references both in text and in the end as well but again you cannot trust them you have to double check whether these references actually exist or not so there are a few references but obviously put them in google scholar and check for yourself now moving on so you can discuss the reasons in light of the theory based on the general literature so now let's say, let me ask this query, but slightly change it. Copy, paste it. Explain why this relationship is significant. Provide some concise 
and comprehensive reasons no theory nothing press enter and here you can have some general reasoning obviously you will need to support it with the literature you will have to go back to the research papers see how csr can influence op based on these characteristics in the organization moving on again it is recommended to use both of them now if the results are not significant let's see i change the query and see my results are not significant so can i get some reasons again you have to support those reasons from the literature i found an insignificant impact of explain why this relationship is insignificant where most of existing research found it significant so existing research found it significant i found it insignificant what could be the possible reasons now here are the possible reasons so you can ask chatgpt to provide more reasons based on the csr and organizational performance instead of providing methodological or analytical reasons now moving on here are or here is an example if the results are not significant this is how you can write it again theory to explain the insignificance you can use a theory let's say let me just ask chat gpt can you explain the reasons for insignificant finding in light of resource based view because i know this is the theory that i used here it is so these are the reasons based on the resource based view that your relationship is insignificant now again these are very solid reasons once we go through it they look very solid although i haven't read all of them but they look meaningful now again you need reference to support your arguments now to do so you have to go back to google scholar search papers that discuss these issues and see if they make sense or not moving on now again you can discuss the implications of the findings let's ask chat gpt can you provide some practical implications of the insignificant results or the significant results if you've got significant ones now since i've already given chat gpt the results earlier i'm not going to repeat that these were the results so here are some of the results or implications obviously you do not need to write everything you do not copy read it the point of using chat gpt is to assist you in your write up not do it for you again and you can ask obviously chat gpt to do the rest of these things as well but again do not copy and paste it as is this won't make any sense whatsoever read it make sure it fits the context of your study and then only use it i hope this session would have helped you understand how to use chat gpt to write or support in writing your discussion section thank you very much